Welcome back to Simplifying Synthesis. In this video, we are going to look at the total synthesis of a gelostatin A. This work was published by the Gomez and Alfonso groups in Orglet in their paper Orthogonally Protected Diaminocyclopentanones as Synthons, Total Synthesis of a Gelostatin A. This compound was first discovered by Pietra et al. in 1993 from the marine sponge Agelis dendromorpha. It immediately attracted a lot of attention, as it shows anti-cancer activity in the nanomolar range. It has been shown that this anti-cancer activity comes from targeting the eukaryotic ribosome. Due to its medicinal properties, it has gained a lot of attention from the synthetic community and was first synthesized by the Weinreb group in 1999. Since then, there have been seven more syntheses published exploring its biosynthesis, alternate strategies, and optimizing proven routes to produce shorter and higher yielding syntheses. The structure presents several challenges for synthesis, as it has four fused rings, with a central tetrasubstituted cyclopentane ring. This cyclopentane has four contiguous carbon-nitrogen bonds, all of which must be introduced stereoselectively. The strategy that the researchers would use to synthesize this molecule involves the formation of a Stenhouse salt that would introduce the 1,2-trans diamine motif. To form the 1,2-cis cyclourea, they would use an intramolecular hemiaminal cyclization. To introduce the final carbon-nitrogen bond, they would use an intramolecular Michael addition with the stereoselectivity guided by the stereochemistry of the carbon-nitrogen bond already present in the molecule. So let's dive into the synthesis. This started with the formation of a Stenhouse salt. Furfural was reacted with dialylamine, which first undergoes a condensation with the aldehyde, forming an aluminium intermediate. Another equivalent of allylamine then undergoes a 1,6 conjugate addition to produce a diamine intermediate. This is in equilibrium with an open chain isomer that can undergo an EZ isomerization, adopting the S cis conformation that is required for cyclization. During this reaction, a transamination will also take place introducing dibenzylamine at the alpha position. In this S-cis conformation, it can undergo a cyclization reaction forming a 5-membered cyclopentanone. This exclusively produces the transdiastereomer of the molecule, which suggests that it goes through an electrocyclization mechanism. Studies into this mechanism have confirmed that it goes through a Nazarov-type cyclization. The delocalization of the electrons across the conjugated system allows for a rapid conrotary electrocyclization to occur. Conrotary means that the orbitals that form the new bond rotate in the same direction, allowing for the in-phase overlap of the orbitals. It is this conrotary motion that produces the trans stereochemistry between the two amine groups. Taking this diamine forward, the carbonyl was then reduced using dibal, which is a bulky reducing agent that adds to the less starkly hindered bottom face of the ring, producing an alcohol upon protonation. This alcohol was then protected as a silyl group using TBS chloride. With this in place, they then carried out a deallylation. Palladium zero first coordinates the alkene and then inserts into the nitrogen carbon bond, forming an allyl cation that is then attacked by dimethyl barbituric acid. This reaction happens twice to yield the free amine that was then reacted with pyrrole acyl chloride, forming the target amide in an 85% yield over two steps. Taking this compound forward, the TBS group was then deprotected using TBAF, and the newly formed hydroxyl group was then oxidized using IBX. This reacts similarly to desmartin periodinane, where the iodine center is attacked by the hydroxyl group and then eliminates an equivalent of hydroxide. An intramolecular hydrogen abstraction then occurs, forming the target ketone. This ketone was required for a Michael addition. Cesium carbonate deprotonates the pyrrole group and this then undergoes an intramolecular Michael addition into the beta position of the enone, forming the desired six-membered ring. With this in place, the other amine group was then deprotected, this time with a debenzylation using palladium on charcoal and hydrogen gas. N-methyl imidazole carboxamide was then added to the reaction mixture, and this is attacked by the newly produced amine to eliminate imidazole. The N-methyl group is then positioned above the cyclopentanone ring, and attacks the carbonyl center, forming the hemiaminal in a 53% yield over three steps. 
With this ring complete, all that remained was a simple bromination. The compound was reacted with dibromantin, which forms hyperbromous acid in the presence of water. This is a source of electrophilic bromine, which is attacked by the pyrrole ring, primarily from the two position. Deprotonation of the resulting cationic intermediate restores aromaticity and formed a gelostatin in a 94% yield. Well, that's everything for this week. Join me in the next video where we will look at the total synthesis of ibogamine.